Big game breakdown continues here on Sportsbit. ABC, national TV, Saturday night, primetime NBA, Celtics and the Rockets. Record on Friday morning. We have no line. The guesstimated line, let's call it an estimated line. It's going to be Houston minus six, maybe minus six and a half. Uh, my total on the game is 209 and a half. I would expect a line to come pretty close to those numbers. Right now, the Celtics, just a half game behind Toronto for first place in the East. The Rockets, a half game ahead of Golden State for first in the West. These are two teams that would like to see each other in a seven-game series come June. The first meeting between these two squads was a wild affair. Rockets led 62-38 to at halftime. They led by 26 in the third quarter. Who won the game? Boston, 99-98. They were plus two in the contest. There was no Chris Paul, no Clint Capella. For Houston, but that was a remarkable comeback from 26 down for the Celtics. James Harden was called for a pair of offensive fouls in the final second, seven seconds after Houston had the ball up 98-97 with 7.3 ticks on the clock. The Rockets 31 and one straight up with Chris Paul, James Harden, Clint Capella all available. They just went through a brutal road cycle. What happened? Three and zero straight up. Dominated the game. Now, a couple of days off, back-to-back days off at home. They have revenge against the Clippers, ranting up the defense on Wednesday. Those revenge against Boston mean ramping up the defense again? Maybe. When we look at this Houston team, we're hearing grind it out. And look at this number. This is, I mean, this chart would blow your mind if you had no idea. If you just like uh, missed the first half of the NBA season. And we're like, oh, what's going on? Rockets in February. Pace, dead last. Defense, number three. That's insane for where Houston was six months ago, three months ago, last year, the year before, the year before that. James Harden's quote, defensively, when we're able to communicate and move our bodies and help each other out, we're at another level. No argument there. Rockets are not a team I'm any Russian stepping in front of. That being said, boy, the Celtics are good underdogs. Not just pretty good, really good. 11-2 and two against the spread this year as dogs. One of the two non-covers came by a half point. Means if you shop around, you probably, well, uh, got a push on that contest. And Boston, too, rested and ready. They've had two uh, days off prior to this contest. However, when you start to look at some of the Celtics' numbers, there's some concerns here. There's some red flags coming up. Look at the Celtics' defense by month. Elite, 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 February, mediocre. That being said, the offense has rebounded from really a terrible January. We talked about the Celtics when they went into the uh, break struggling and having all those offensive issues. They were dead last in the NBA in offensive points per 100 possessions in January. That's not been the case here this month. Slightly above average. And a lot of it's Kyrie Irving. I mean, Kyrie Irving is taking more and more on his shoulders. He's a superstar right now, and he has enough game to handle it. And, of course, the flow may even get better for the Celtics with Greg Monroe in the, in the mix right now. He's a legit low post threat. He hasn't done a whole lot in recent stops, but he scored 14 points against Charlotte on Wednesday. Here's his quote. I feel like I got into a pretty good rhythm. Coach went to me and I tried to be aggressive. He said, take your time and get your legs back under you. Tonight, I got into a good rhythm and that made me more comfortable. Definitely lean towards the under in this one. And I'm not going to step in front of the Celtics in that underdog role that they've been so good at this year. Under in Boston for this better if I'm going to get involved on Saturday night. Like the show? Help us keep the lights on. Please make sure to comment, share, and subscribe to all the Sportsbook Review videos. Thanks so much. Best of luck. Enjoy the game.